I'm not a spring chick. I know you're going, what in the world is going on over? Okay, we happen to be in this room because it happens to be, believe it or not, even though there's windows, one of the warmest rooms in this, and it's cold outside. It's raining. It's a beach house, and they don't have heaters. No, I know. Just a few days ago, we were in the mid seventies, but today it's an entirely different story. But of course, we have old Kevin comments on the headlines of today, and it's all over for the Republicans. Well, you'd be, yeah, and you'd think so because Obama has them on the run on all fronts. You know, of course, it doesn't make any difference that the, Demo the Democratic press is now saying that they. Why they, they formed a circle yesterday and shot themselves in the foot because they gave the Republicans a verification of what they have been saying is that the, their Democrats are saying, well, we're only trying to do this to limit the, you know, the damage that people were going to cause with assault weapons. So they went after pistols and shotguns yesterday. Of course they did. And, uh, and then the day the President of the United States had the most liberal court in the nation said he had no constitutional right to make recess appointments with both houses of Congress in session. Um, it wasn't, if they're a recess appointment, doesn't that mean the other house, the um, houses were on vacation? That's right, and both houses were in session when he did it. So it means all of those things that these people did that were anti-business are pro-regulatory. Oh, or, does it, do you have to all be undone? They're, none of them were legal. But they're going. They said they're going to still do them anyway. Well, no, no. But he said uh, he can't. They've already taken his ability away to do it. He, you know, uh, he was going to use the government regulatory powers, of which he does not have as executive order. He can't regulate carbon. He can't regulate this. They've already said that he will spend the rest of his his next twenty years as president in courts. Because when the liberal courts say you can't, I know it means that it has no chance of getting through the Supreme Court. That's right, especially when the liberal courts already say yeah. that. Well, they don't like presidents overseeding their authority because they do. Most of these liberal courts actually tend, they, they interpret the Constitution, but when it says specifically a reset appointment can only be made when Congress is not in session, that's very specific. Yeah. It doesn't say, well, you know, all 524 people have to be there. No, it can be that there, you know, it can be committee meetings being held on the floor of the House and Senate. That means they're in session. And confident Obama lays out a battle plan as he launches a second term. Oh yeah, he's got to go after gun control. Well, that sort of got in the problems. He's going to do more regulatory control. That hit a big snag. Well, he's going to make certain that the gay rights and immigration are done. Well, gay rights hit a snag because I think like right now the 35th state passed a constitutional amendment saying that there, uh, there is no gay marriage. Mm -hmm. And um, as far as immigration did, the Democrats are basically once again doing Hubert Humphrey's famous lining, lining himself up in a circle shooting one another because we first we have to fix the problem with these people that are with these guests and then we'll do immigration reform. Well, that, that goes nowhere even with the Democrats where they have problems. And controversial Kansas abortion clinic to reopen this spring. Well, you know, because Obama's president, they think that they can go back to doing it again, even though Kansas law is prohibited. Oh, really? No, they, they, uh, what it is is they think Obama will give them a shield that none of the other presidents will give them. They, they, okay, they go out of business when the court talks. The court basically says you can't do late-term abortions, except in the case of when a person is uh, sick. And then also you cannot use government funding to for, uh, but, um well, they, they're using government funding and doing late-term abortions on anybody that asks, so. Oh. An L.A. Catholic official shielded pedophile priest report. Okay, the problem is is that um, there's an awful lot of, of priests that are gay folks, and gay guys have a tendency to go after anybody that's gay. Uh -huh. Conservatives react to Obama inaugural speech. Well, they said it was just a battle. Uh, it was a... He actually thinks he got a mandate. As the, I mean, I'm listening to one of the one of the people that used to be a liberal, but is basically being under massive attack because he doesn't agree with Obama. Last night, saying he said the man got 47 percent of the vote. He got the 47 percent that basically, oh, he really got. It. He said they wouldn't get off their asses to do a day's labor if you, you know, if you give oh. them all the money. He said they're he said they're getting something for nothing. They're living in their houses for nothing. They're getting their cars paid for for nothing. He said, uh, what it is, is like he said, he said he loved this one thing he saw. Well, the President of the United States is going to take care of me and my family for life. 
and they said that since the, you know that I've not made a payment on my house since he became president. I've not made a payment on my car since he became president, and I'm getting I'm getting all of these government services because of Obama. Yeah, those what? are the, those are the people that elected Obama to office. Uh -huh. A Republican? How in the no, world? No, they said, uh, even, yeah, I was listening and they said, even a god awful, really liberal Democrat said that these commercials are killing the Democratic Party because we're getting all of this stuff for nothing. Uh -huh. Yeah. And Republicans hit Democrats with 179 trips to the moon since the Senate passed a budget. Yeah, Democrats, are, they're going to pass a budget that's not going to get passed. You know, the, okay, here it is yesterday. They, uh, for uh, the, uh, that Harry Reid couldn't get enough oomph in order to, to become a single part, a, a, a parliamentary thing. So here's what they agreed on. God, this is going to be one of the most earth-shattering agreements in the history of the Congress of the United States. They agreed to leave the rules exactly as they were, which made absolutely no one made happy. Okay, well that's how Congress works today, is they just kicked the can. Instead of doing what he did, of putting something up for a vote he knew he was going to lose, he did, they, the Republicans and Democrats agreed that we overwhelmingly agreed to leave the rules exactly like they were. Uh -huh. Missouri man, 93, charged with killing wife, 95. I know. Well, he, she's probably seeing somebody else. Yeah. <laughs> um, storm clouds, he probably had enough. Um, storm clouds are crawling with bacteria, new study finds. Probably. I mean, uh, it's picking up the stuff from, oh, the, from water. the ground, the water. Yeah, I mean, lots of bacteria, but I'm going to really break something to the Democrats that funded this thing. They have been carrying bacteria since the dawn of history. It's nothing new. It's how, okay, remember it's that. It's in the water. Remember how they say life was created? That lightning bolt hit the water? There was bacteria in the water <coughs> that it hit that created the first cell. That's how life moves, folks, is from little germy things, but not all germs and bacteria are bad. There's good. The bacteria that's in your mouth, that's good for you. Oh, and California couple sues over donations to Scientology. Well, yeah, because uh, the problem is that, uh, they're, they're not allowed to basically take it off as a business deduct or a charitable deduction because virtually nobody in the whole universe mm -hmm. sees the Church of Scientology as a religion. They look at it as a yeah. cult. Yeah, exterminator charged with strangling a Pennsylvania doctor. I know, you know, that's what he was an exterminator. Well, <laughs> he was just exterminating. <laughs> and Mexico's legal soul search after a French woman freed. Yeah, well, okay. Okay, there's a problem is is that don't go to foreign countries where you know they arrest Amer uh, foreign nationals on a regular basis. <laughs> that's just uh, don't if you don't go to Turkey, you know, you can go to Istanbul, but don't go out of Istanbul. But the same as you can go to major cities in Mexico, but don't leave the major city because you're, they'll get you folks. And crisis questions linger as Geithner prepares to exit. Well, yeah, he's, okay, uh, he, he, he's leaving a mess and uh, like he's just printing, he's printing money up instead of, you know, well, well Obama needs another trillion dollars. Okay, we'll print another trillion dollars. The money is becoming worthless and the only reason, okay, uh, uh, I come from an era when you could basically uh, buy a loaf of bread, one loaf of 10 cent bread with a wheelbarrow full of bills, and that's what we're heading towards. Oh, yeah, a long road ahead and dreamliner probe. Well, it, it's a simple thing. I mean, I've done this thing a zillion times. It's battery powered. The bat, okay, um, I, I, I was on uh, Merv Griffin's show, got off a long time ago. I was singing back up, and there's a discussion between uh, Jane Fonda and the guest of the show, uh, another guest about, you know, that we can do this, we can do that, and he said, oh, the, the, the ability to store energy in batteries is not here yet. We're talking 30-some years later, the ability to store the energy needed in batteries is not here, plus lithium batteries are dangerous. They catch fire. And expect these topics to dominate Obama's second term? Uh, gun control, gay rights, immigration, um, uh, and, uh, and health care. The health care is the one he hoped was not going to, but the, basically what happens is nobody listens to what Roberts said. Roberts did not, they did not say Obamacare was legal. 
they said the government had the power to raise to taxes yep. and you could not challenge that power until somebody was injured. Which, which it, means you're still going to pay the taxes. You yeah, but, but you can challenge it in, 19, in 2014 when the first tax hits you in the pocketbook. You can then go to court and challenge it and that's when they'll throw it out because you can't charge a person. You'll have to change it to a straight tax because you can't charge a person for being you know, breathing the air, but yeah. you can't, the taxes will always stand. Which means you still get to pay for but it. But you're not, it cannot be used to fund health care because it's an illegal, uh, it's been written wrong. And Obama can't undo it because he rammed it through, you know, the, the he, you know, he tried hard to work with the Republicans. Well, his trying hard means you do it my way or you don't do it at all. And a Monty bubble is a for the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Oh, it is a good one. And just because you think you've won the battle doesn't mean the war is over. That is true.